driving around, I thought it was a tank or something. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Chris Chan. I'm the owner of Chelsea Place Senior Care and the host of Senior Source TV. And today I'm excited because we're about to go behind the scenes here at MedSol Clinical Research. So let's go check it out. Come on. Hey, Chris. How What's are up, you? What's up, Bola? How you doing? Good. I can't do the handshake thing. You gotta do the, the hug thing, you know? No, we don't do handshake. The real thing. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. How are you doing? Good to see you. How's everything going? Good. Good. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really excited to. Uh, to show everybody you know, what you guys are all about. So this will, this, will, this will be awesome, this will be awesome. Anyway, let me get my ready. Yeah, yeah, Come on, Chris is here. Hi. What's going on? How are you? Good. Good to see you. How are you? Good to see you. How's everything going? Good, good. We're good. Awesome. Everything's awesome. good. I'm, really, so I'm, I'm super excited about this one. I, I was actually, I was just telling Laura that, um, you know, when I first saw your sign at the old building uh, that you guys were at, I was, I was telling her, I thought, I thought it was a tanning salon, <laughs> you know? Yes. And then, and then when, I, when I pulled up, you know, I got a little bit closer to it, I realized it's like, you know, clinical research. And, and of course, that, at that point, I, I didn't even really know what that was. And so I think more than anything, I'm just super excited to be here today to learn more about this. I mean, this is, this is a video that I'm, most places I go into, I realize I already know what they do. I'm already familiar maybe with that building or what that is, but this one I'm, I'm really excited to learn more about. So. Maybe if you could show us around a yes, little bit. Yes, I'd love to. Know, so, uh, first of all, thank yeah. you for having interest in us. Oh, that's awesome. Our community is very small here in town, but you know, our we have the best medical heroes. We call them. Everyone who participates is a medical hero. Right, right. right. Because without their input, we wouldn't have medications. Absolutely. Approved. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're helping and bridge the gap between you know the pharmacies and the the, the medical community and the, and the people. Right. You know? Right. So we are different in a way because we are a standalone um, clinical research center and the physicians come here to see the patients here. Everything right. is done here instead of a doctor's office. So gotcha. when we go through the tour, just keep in mind that, you know, we like the homey feeling. We right. don't want it to look like and, a hospital and, because and I, it's not, right. it's I, not a yeah. testing facility, right. but uh, we want people to feel at home. We want someone who starts the study to be able to finish right. the study. Right. And I'll tell you that most of our patients end up wanting to enroll in more than one study gotcha. and they'll always call, hey, what else you got going right, on right. over here? Sure. Yeah, so sure. we have three exam rooms. Okay. We have um, the first one over here is just a regular, uh, just an exam room. And then here we have two bedrooms. Um, we do overnight studies and we gotcha. do infusion studies. So okay. patients need to feel comfortable. Sometimes they're here for six hours. Okay. Um, the first time we brought in a bed was because we do a lot of epilepsy studies gotcha. with Dr. Lee and when they're doing EKGs we didn't want anybody so to fall. Now when, when so they're when, medical beds. When you're doing a study like that, does that study take place like throughout the night? Is it the, the So for, it depends. We okay. can have uh, an infusion study. They come in and they can be here for like six hours during the day. Okay. We gotcha. just are finishing up a COPD study where patients come in and they stay for 24 hours and throughout gotcha. the day. So they'll actually stay here. They stay uh, here. Okay. We eat with them. Yeah, excuse me. They, they may not want to go home. I mean, it's like, it's <laughs> well, so nice here. You know? It's great, but you know, this TV didn't work for a little bit, oh, yeah, and we yeah, had yeah, a man yeah. in here. It was like, oh, we had to have right. Comcast come, come stack. You know, it was <laughs> so like right. an emergency. So this, point, I, I literally just left our place today, and one of the residents, he uh, his remote wasn't working. Oh. You know, and he was like, it was like it had to be fixed immediately. You know, I was yes, like, I'm like, hey, Comcast to come out next week. I'm like, that no, it's no, got to be done work. today. You know. No. <laughs> So. so that's exam room number one, and then okay. we have exam room number two, and again, hey, that's our, pretty much the same you thing. You got our colors, man. Look at that. We love colors. I love that, um, that, that turquoise. It's beautiful. Yes, because know, we've been something like... in common, right? <laughs> yes. Well, you know, so I know that you thought we were a sun tanning, um, right. but the, <laughs> right. the reason that we have the sun and, and yeah. our colors are... We want it to reflect where we live, gotcha. and you know, Which is, yeah, beautiful I mean, Florida, and you know, we have the sun, we have the beaches, so that's okay. why we have the oranges, we have the blues, it. and no, they actually, and, and I love orange and blue too because I'm a Gator fan, so. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, so. and Medsol is really, you know, um, Wait, what is medicine in the sun. Okay. Sol is Portuguese for Portuguese, it's oh, sun, and ah. Medsol, medicine in the gotcha. sun. But yeah, yeah, we yeah. do get pharmaceutical companies that call, and they're like, "What is that? Medical solutions?" I'm like, 
like it could yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, could, it goes both ways, you know. Yeah, yeah. So that's so how many people could actually spend the night here? And so right now we've had the most three. Okay. But gotcha. um, you know we don't have the space. There's places like us and throughout the country that actually. Um, can do 10, 20, but gotcha. we don't have that. Right, right, okay. Well, that's, that's it's cool. Small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small. So, in here is where our nurses sit. Okay. This is where we do most of our work. Okay. Um, awesome. Then we have our um, lab room down here. All right. And um, you'll see that there's little green stickers on all our machines. Everything gets calibrated once a year. Okay. The pharmaceutical is that, company. Is that done by an outside company? Or yep, okay. yep. So uh, we use Fisher Biomedical in uh, Venice and Jeff and, comes down and... And, and so in this room, this would, this would be like um, like blood work? So something. yes, we do all the blood work in here, the, you know, pregnancy tests. Okay. Uh, Height and weight we do, and um, we have a freezer. We have the centrifuge right. machine. So, if we draw blood, then we can prepare it and send it off. And right now our this freezer is, is at minus eighty-two. I was like, yeah. it, was, it, was, it, was, it was negative seventy in Minneapolis last week. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. So, um, in here we hold all our uh, kits. Each study has their own kits, and they use their own lab. Okay. So that all the patients so we, in the country for that particular study right. is being run by the same machine, the same technician, gotcha. the same lab for so, consistency. So you would you would collect it and then send it to that. Yes. Yeah, so okay. we usually, and I could drop it off at the airport or whatever. Usually FedEx, sometimes okay. UPS, gotcha. but mostly FedEx, and awesome. it goes you know right overnight. Awesome. This um, is just a beautiful place you guys got here. Though, man. It really doesn't you. feel like it, it doesn't feel there's nothing clinical research about it. No, know? we want it to you be medical. It. And mm -hmm. you know, this is our break room, and then awesome. we just have some stuff from our grand opening. And Which was you know, uh, this is one of my favorites. We had asked that. patients and visitors to let us know what. This oh, cool. meds all yeah. stand for them, and it was it. all very it. positive. So it was what's cool too is like it's like all these like like words, and, and it's just like you know one or two words that describe you know how they uh, how they felt. You know, and this one life changing, like my favorite. At home, I right? know, right? Spectacular camera. Yeah. So in here we'll come back here, but this is our conference room. This okay. is where we do our informed consent. Okay. And um, we always ask the patients to have their family give input, and sometimes right. they bring them, and right. we review page by page so that, so that they're, they, they know everything. Yeah, yeah. They so I can imagine, you know, you know, this is this, this this you know because we're not buying a car, <laughs> you know, uh, we're, we're talking about someone's life. Right. You know, it's, right. it's, it's for them to have the trust right. in us. Right. Exactly. And here is our um, library medication oh, wow. room. Wow. We're going to be doing a study, moving things around, so these books will come out. Okay. We hold them for six months until after the study is done, and then they go to storage. Okay, gotcha. Um, but we're going to bring in what's called the hood, so that the pharmacist can actually manipulate and change, do all the medication mixing oh, really? oh, under wow. sterile conditions. Wow. Yeah. So is that, is that where they put the hands in, like, yep. Yep. it's all sterile yep. and yeah, closed yeah. off? Wow, yep. that's really cool. Yep, so really some cool. medications we use our refrigerator, and some are just maintained at room temperature. Sure. And here is our monitor room, okay. so the pharmaceutical company will send out uh, people to make sure that you know we're doing a good job and that the data is good and clean and that most importantly patients are safe. Right, right, awesome. So that's where they are, and then and then this, my this office door. is oh, here. Um, that's awesome. Like so it. we're small, but we have a lot of love and yeah. a lot of uh, care. I love it. And I, I love the, these these draw. I mean, these um, paintings are uh, beautiful. Thank it. you. So the paintings were from my dad, who yeah. had um, Parkinson's, and we just lost him. But thank you. Uh, he's he's done an amazing job. I mean, I, I mean, I'm, and, and I think you were telling His me earlier. His legacy lives on. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I, 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 uh, I know you mentioned earlier he started painting. Um, for therapy. Gotcha. For his Parkinson's. And, and you had encouraged him to. Right? Yes, 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 yes. And then and now your whole office is. It's, yeah. it's got all these beautiful paintings, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I just I wanted to at least give. You know, share that with uh, people too, if that was okay. Cause oh, absolutely. I, um, I, I, we uh, love them. Everyone that comes in, right. it's probably one of the biggest compliments we get is his paintings. Right, which uh, I think it's such, a, it's, a, it's such a personal touch to, you know, to who he is and a reminder of, you know, who he is and, and how important, you know, he, he, he was in your life, you know, so. Well, and most importantly too, it keeps gives us the passion to right. find a cure, right, to right. find better treatment for right. patients with Parkinson's. So, right. 
you know, we work with Dr. Lee, and we're actually starting up three Parkinson studies, wow. so that wow. uh, Absolutely. we can make and a it's difference. It's very near and dear to your heart. Yes. Yeah. yes. So it's like that, if there's one, you know, you know, and I and I've seen that uh, you know different people throughout our experience, you know, go through that. That, that you know Parkinson's disease and just you know the struggle you know it, it kills me because like their mind could be working okay some people might lose their mind earlier on or they might lose their cognitive abilities earlier on uh, some people physically it's just it's weird how it affects people so differently differently yeah. you know um, and it's just hard to, it's hard to see that you know so if someone was interested what would be the best way for them to get in contact with you guys they can call us here um, okay. 941-623-9744 okay. and I'm sure you know Christian will add that to our video too as well. Yeah, so. and then, uh, you know, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we have a website, and, um, you know, awesome. and if they want to come, our coffee's always on, and we'd love to have company. Right, absolutely. Well, if I, you're looking for coffee and a hug, this is the place right. to go. <laughs> I know, I love it, I love it. You guys really make it feel so home here, no, seriously. I, every time, I, I was just telling him earlier, every time I walk in here, there's just an aura about this place, so you guys really do make it feel like home, sure. so. I, uh, I, I encourage you guys, if you have any questions, please reach out to Maria and Laura here, and uh, they'd be happy to help you guys out, and uh, look forward to helping more people uh, find you know, a solution to whatever disease or, or whatever they might, might, might have, you know, so. And you know, I'll tell you that most of our patients will say, if it's not gonna help me, it's gonna help maybe my grandkids, it's gonna help my, the next generation, right. so. Right, They're Absolutely. very interested. They're just interested in being a part of that, you know, so. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today on the behind the scenes episode with MedSaw. Had a great time. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or if you just need some direction, if you're caring for a loved one, if, uh, a family member, uh, a parent, a spouse, a relative or a neighbor, if you're, if you're caring for them and you're lost in this, this, this complex senior care world, give us a call. Let us help you. It's completely free to you, uh, to your family, to whoever needs us. We're here to help and we just want to help you get pointed in the right direction.